and after that I'll find a nice place to set up the hammock. Damn, look at this, a sport quattro, wow. I bought something to eat and now let's find a place to sleep. Yeah, hmm. I'm driving to the end of the village to find some trees that are suitable, but right now I only see tiny trees. Also, it can't be too steep because I gotta get my bike up there somehow. Maybe we should try on the other side. So I think I found something. It took some time, but yeah, look at this. So, hammock from this tree to this tree. At least those trees seem to be sturdy. It's not really the best spot. I would have preferred to be higher up on the hill, but I'll take what I can get considering it's already getting dark. So yeah, I'll set up my stuff. Good morning. Night was a little cold, but luckily no rain or strong wind, so that's okay. I really don't want to leave the sleeping bag, but I guess I have to. Okay, let's go. So quick tour of the setup, the time lapse yesterday probably didn't pick up everything because it got dark. So I have this tarp and the hammock under there. It would have been good to put it a little higher because there's a rock under there, but it was not possible. <laughs> here we got the bags and here we got a tired and a little cold me. Also the temperatures really killed the battery of the Osmo. It's at 63%. Yesterday it was at like 95 or something. <laughs> I was lucky I didn't ride my bike down here and just pushed it because I had a nail in my shoe today. Everything secured? Okay, let's go. Day two. So remember how I said yesterday I wanted to go to the castle? Yeah, it's closed of course because of Corona. And it was dark, and I didn't want to drive up there again. Just look at it, too steep! I gotta air up my tire, it's getting a little low. Hopefully it has no leak. Also I noticed the rear brake is dragging, so I gotta fix that. Hopefully I have everything I need. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. I think maybe the weight of the bags and all the water bottles shifted the rear axle a little bit. But anyway, it's fixed. So let's continue. That's why I bought food yesterday. See, everything closed. <laughs> Look at this, the water is so clear. The river is so beautiful here, green and blue and everything is so clear. The area here almost looks like the Alps. This is the third or fourth castle I've seen in 10 kilometers. This looks like a nice spot for a breakfast. So yesterday I said we're gonna cover three times as much altitude today as yesterday, but I got it the wrong way around. Yesterday we drove up 800 meters and now it's just 240 for the day. So I think that's doable. It's mostly by the river, so that's why there are no hills. That may mean that the journey will be a little bit boring, but we'll see. Castle number five. And castle number, no, that's just a house. Another cool bridge. Phone is full, time to charge up the GoPro. Bye for now. So, did you miss anything while the camera was off? Not much, honestly. Just this awesome mini. That's the number six. Or 
40 more kilometers to go. This last part is really not that interesting, just a lot of fields and nothing else. But I think it's time for a break. Next bench I see, I'll sit down and... the last 10 kilometers, almost there. And we made it. Now it's only a few more kilometers and we have arrived. That's it for this trip. If you haven't watched part one, you can do so up here. If you like the journey, you can give the video a thumbs up. If you dislike how my hair looks right now, you can give this video a thumbs down and subscribe for more videos. See you soon.